It wasn't all that long ago that trains were a fairly common sight along the former Reading Company's Schuylkill and Lehigh branch. Today, however, much of the line no longer exists, except for a small portion servicing the Lehigh Cement Plant in Evansville, PA, and the landlocked Wanamaker, Kempton, and Southern Railroad. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the history surrounding the SNL line, from Sladington to Temple. The line's roots can be traced back to the late 1870s, where at the time, the Philadelphia and Reading Railroad had a stronghold over transportation in the area. A group of investors who primarily owned businesses located along the Schuylkill River in the Reading area were looking for a way to bypass the monopoly of the Philadelphia and Reading. By 1874, the line was laid and the Berks County Railroad was officially incorporated. The railroad's primary source of income was to come from carrying coal from the Lehigh Valley Railroad down the SNL line into Reading. The Philadelphia and Reading Railroad realized their monopoly was in jeopardy and threatened to stop interchanging with the Lehigh Valley Railroad. Philadelphia and Reading being the larger influence, the Lehigh Valley was forced to comply. Traffic on the SNL route dwindled off, and the Berks County Railroad fell through. It would be reorganized several times, being known as the Reading and Lehigh Railroad, and Schuylkill and Lehigh Railroad, before finally being absorbed into the Philadelphia and Reading itself. Eventually, the Philadelphia and Reading, after acquiring many smaller railroads under bad financing, would be forced to reorganize as the Reading Company. During the tenure of the Reading Company, the SNL was primarily known for its Berksy passenger service. This train transported students to and from Sladington High School daily, with students coming from as far south as Lenhartsville. In addition to the Berksy, there are also two round-trip passenger services from Reading to Sladington daily. By 1949, however, the passenger services ended and traffic along the line became increasingly scarce. In terms of freight, the SNL's primary cargo north of Evansville was potatoes. Both Kempton and Trexler had dedicated loading areas specifically for potato exports. At one point, there were two freight trains that ran the line daily. One that ran the entire length of the route and one from Reading to Kempton, where it stopped at Albright's Mill. There was even a turntable and water tower just south of the feed mill for steam engines to refuel and turn around for the return trip to Reading. By 1962, both freight and passenger services had declined to the point that Reading was looking to abandon parts of the line. The trackage between Germansville and Sladington had been removed, but a small group of individuals interested in starting up a tourist line looked to purchase the remaining portion of the track between Germansville and Kempton. The Wanamaker Kempton and Southern was born. Unfortunately, due to an uncooperative landowner, the group's original plan to operate 11 and a half miles of track fell through, and they were only able to secure the right of way to three miles of track running between Kempton and just slightly north of Wanamaker's. It wouldn't be until the 1970s that the WKNS finally acquired its full track rights that it has today. The southern portion of the line, including where Albright's Mill is located, wasn't included in the original purchase. In 1972, Steam Locomotive No. 65 was the last piece of rolling stock to arrive in Kempton by rail. The tracks between Evansville and Kempton were torn up. Today, Norfolk Southern still operates the southernmost portions of the SNL between Temple and Evansville and the Spruce Street Industrial Track. The primary traffic is serviced to Lehigh Cement, but there are also businesses such as Brentag, a chemical distribution company, and Royal Green, a recycling center that see trains on a regular basis. For a more detailed write-up into SNL history, be sure to check out Jeff Zweisick's website at www.jeff-z.com. Also, be sure to check out the Wanamaker Kempton and Southern Railroad at www.kemptontrain.com. <laughs>